Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing our example number three in the hyperbola. What if our, se our center is not located in the origin? Or our center is not zero, zero? So how are we going to find the center, the foci, the vertices, and how to graph the parabola? So if that is the case, we will be needing different table. So this will be the table that we are going to use. So notice in our graph, so this is not, or the center is not located in our origin. We know that our origin is located here. Okay, notice that it's not located in the origin. So if our equation in the standard form is like this one, so we have the HK for the center for this, x minus h, or quantity x minus h raised to 2 over a squared minus quantity y squared uh, y minus k raised to 2 over b squared is equal to 1. So this is our condition. Let a is greater than 0, b is greater than 0, and c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So we have two cases. Equation is standard form. So in this case, where our parabola opens to the left or to the right, and in this case, open upward and downward. So notice that it's just interchange y that is in our a squared. Okay, just like in our uh, first discussion, examples number one and two, zero zero, it also applied in that. Next, to find the foci, foci is C units to the left and right of C, even this form. But in this case, C units above and below the x-axis. That's why in the power graph, it opens to the left and out opens upward and downward. So look at our rectangle. And for the vertices, A units to the left and to the right of C, and in this case, a units above and below of C. Equation of the, the equation of the asymptote. So we have the asymptote here. So this will be the equation. Okay. Now let us give this table to solve this problem. Example number three. So our given is quantity y plus two raised to two all over twenty-five minus quantity x minus seven raised to two all over nine is equal to one. We're going to find the center, the foci, the vertices, the asymptote, and the graph. So first step, find A, B, and C. So our A here is uh, study the given. So Y plus 2, so it is in this form. So we are going to expect a graph like this one. So a squared is equal to 25. So extract the square root, our a is equal to 5. Next, our b, b squared is equal to 9. Extract the square root, b is equal to 3. And for the c, C is equal to square root of 25 plus 9. So that is square root of 34. Notice that 34 is not a perfect square number. So we're going to find the decimal of square root of 34. To find that, you can use the calculator. Square root of 34. That is in decimal 5.83 or 5.83, this is our C now. Now let us find the center. So we're going to find the HK. So the HK, so equate Y plus two is equal to zero. So our Y is equal to negative two. And the other one, x minus 7 is equal to 0, so our x is equal to 7. 
x and y. So our center is 7, negative 2. Okay. Now we are ready to find the cosine and the vertices. And of course, the equation of the asymptote. Let us find first our cosine, the f sub 1 and f sub 2. So locate our center, 7, negative 2. So 7, then negative 2. So it's here. Okay, this is our center. Okay. Now, in our table, to find the cosine, so this is our equation form, equation in standard form. So the foci is c units above and below of x. So our c is 5.83. So 5 units, 5.83 above. So we have in 2. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5. In decimal, we have 0.83, so near 4. So it's here. So this is our F sub 2 or F sub 1. So let's say F sub 2 or F sub 1. Our coordinate now in our F sub 1 is, notice that we are, the X is 7. And for the Y, so we, how many units we have? 1, 2, 3. 3 units and we have the point 83. So 3 point 83. That will be the coordinates of the focus. The second focus or the first focus. Actually, we can name this as F sub 1. Okay. Next. 5.83 below. So below is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we have 0.83. It's here. So if we're going to find our F sub 2, the coordinates is on our X, we have 7. And on our y, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 7 point, we have the decimal point 83. Okay. That will be our f sub 1 and f sub 2. We can now write in our answer 7, 3.83, and 7. Negative 7.83. Actually, it can be interchanged. It could, this would be our cosi 2 or cosi 1. It's okay. As long as your coordinates are correct. Next, the vertices. So for the vertices, that is A units above and A units below of X. Our A is 5. So let us count 5 units. One, two, three, four, five. So it's on three. So the coordinates of that, let's say this is our vertex one, the coordinates is seven, and that is exactly three. Okay. That is right here, seven, then three. And the other one, uh, five units below. So one, two, three, four, five. We sub 2, 7, then negative 7. So 7 and negative 7. Okay? Now, 
let us create our rectangle. So, just like in the first and second example, we're going to create a rectangle. That is, we have now our vertices. Then the second one is B units. Our B is 3. So, 1, 2, 3. Then, 1, 2, 3. This will be the rectangle. Okay, that will be our rectangle. Then we can now create our asymptote. Okay, so I think our rectangle is not proportion. So let us use our ruler. So going to our vertex, then in this case. Okay, then, now, if you're using a graphing paper, so it's easy for you to calibrate for the distances, but in my case, I am using the whiteboard, so it's a little bit hard, it's not proportional, so it must pass through our center. Okay, that will pass through the center, then. Eight now a straight line, and for this one, now passing through the center, and this one. Okay. And now, ready to graph for your hyperbola. Okay. This what? Sky, the hyperbola, our point, times our point, here. Must be so I got yeah. that is our hyperbola and to find our asymptote so that y minus our k is k is seven k K, K here. So minus negative two is equal to positive negative. Our A is five over our B is three and X minus H, our H is 7. Okay. So we have Y negative times negative, positive 2 is equal to passive negative 5 over 3, X minus 7. That would be the equation of our asymptote. So your teacher asks you to find the equation. So we have the slope of this is negative, a positive. So we have y plus 2 is equal to 5 over 3 x minus 7 and in this case this slope is negative so the equation is y plus 2 is equal to negative 5 over 3 x minus 7. That will be our answers and of course the graph. That's it. That's the parabola. Your next example will be what if the given is the foci and the distance of a point, the distance of our foci, the distance of the foci to the center and given the vertices of the, or the coordinates of the foci. That will be your next one. Thank you for watching Senior Faculty.